Don't fuck this one up. Hello, all of you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here for a match preview. It's a massive one. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool. Again, it's at Old Trafford. It's coming live on Sunday, the 7th of April. It's at half past three kickoff. I'll be live doing a live stream. If you're new to the channel, that's what I do. I have a live stream, a little watch along. I keep everybody up to date with what's going on in the match, you know, the score, if there's cards, substitutions, everything. Keep you up to date. So if you're new to the channel, please feel free to come along and watch, get in the chat with me and enjoy the match with me. Um, also, this is a match preview. So what I do is I will go through how I think the game is going to go. I will give you my score prediction and I'll also give you a lineup prediction. So before I do that, please, if you haven't already, hit the like button and also more importantly hit that subscribe button you honestly don't understand every single person who hits that subscribe button makes a massive massive difference so um before i get into the preview as well i just want to say a few things that i've done i've also um just about my channel as a whole in general um obviously i'm on youtube and facebook that's where i do my live streams i'm also just um i used to have a gaming channel um i've changed my tiktok now so i have a tiktok where i'm posting the short videos so if you prefer to watch videos over there you can check out all my shorts all the shorts that i'm making for the slack and armchair supporters will be on tiktok now just search slacking armchair supporters also in other news on facebook i have just been accepted for subscriptions so let me know in the chat um, in comments either on facebook wherever you're watching the video just leave a comment what you would like from a subscription. Obviously, I don't I don't plan on it being expensive. Um, it's a whole new thing for me to try with this channel. I really don't know how it will work. But just if you have any ideas what you'd like to see from a subscription, like if I did start up a subscription, what benefits you'd like to receive from it? Um, obviously, I can, I'll can. i be doing like behind-the-scenes footage, you know, extra exclusive footage for subscribers. You'll get your own, like emojis and badges and things like that um and i'll if the, you can think of any other benefits let me know and i'll set that up and if you'd be interested at all because i I might not even do it but we'll see we'll see how the channel goes it's only a young channel and yeah like i said thank you very much anyway for your input so let's get in to the match preview and wow yeah big one big 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 one i've just been um Doing a bit of research on Manchester United, obviously 17th of March, day we want to forget. They did beat us 4-3 um, at Old Trafford in extra time. Very disheartening win that for Liverpool for Liverpool fans. We had the game won. We should have had the game won. We just couldn't manage the game. We let them play their, their football too much in vital parts of the game. You know, you're winning 2-1. Just see the game out. There was, what, I think two minutes left on the clock when Rashford scored in normal time to send it to extra time. Then, obviously, Elliot goes, makes it 3-2. Hold on to it. Don't throw it away. We threw it away. And then we made a, a blunder, which Liverpool are quite happy to do. We would seem to do it far too often. Little blunder from Nunes. They go down last minute of the game. Um, Diallo, I think it was, with the, the winner. So 4-3 to United, they move on to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We get knocked out. But there's bigger fish to fry. We are in for the Premier League. We're in for the Europa League. And this is the Premier League. We need to win this. We want to win this. We want to give Klopp that send-off. So I see it being a completely different game. Um, I do see Liverpool getting a win. Um, United, well, I can't really mention United without last night's result. 4-3 against Chelsea. What happened? I do not know. They just they done exactly what we done against them. Um, they turned off for the last two minutes. They had the game won, ninety eight minutes on the clock, and it's three two to Manchester United. They lose four three. Incredible. Cole Palm with a penalty. A lot of people saying it's soft, but it might be soft, but it was still a penalty. Then. To leave Cole Palmer again with that much space from a corner, just manage the game, just hold possession there. Just, you know, you've you've lost you've lost two points. At least take one from it. You've left Cole Palmer with so much space from a corner, and well, he did get lucky with a deflection off of uh, McTominay, I think. But I mean, I hope you switch off like that against Liverpool. I really do. That would be that would be great for for Liverpool. 
but obviously I, I don't see that happening. But that was an absolute incredible game. Um, I was live streaming the Liverpool game and I was seeing the highlights. The The score kept popping up anyway, just to let me know. And I was like, wow, that looks like a good game to be watching. So after the live stream, I did go and catch the last 20 or so minutes of it. And also the game before that, was it Brentford? Brentford absolutely battered United all over the pitch. Should have walked away with a, you know, a comprehensive three or four nil win. Didn't United, 95th minute, I think, get the the winner. We think it's going to be the winner. Couldn't hold on to it for 60 seconds. Brentford get one back. So, you know, 1-1 one, one draw. United dropping points. So hopefully the, their league form continues for this Liverpool game. You know, fair play to them. They did get the better of us in the FA Cup. Fair play to them for that. But I'm hoping this time we go out and get the, the three points. Um, Liverpool in unconvincing form. Um, I was very unconvinced by them last night against Sheffield. We could have had the game buried within the first 45 minutes. Didn't Sheffield then got that goal. It, it was lucky, you know, unlucky for Bradley as well to score another own goal. It's something that he couldn't do anything about this one. It's just sort of come off him. And gone through the keeper's legs. But we we just switched off enough. It's it's lucky that it happened early enough that there was enough time to actually go and correct it. But Liverpool need to go and be finishing these games when we possibly can. Like last night against Sheffield. Um, again, with United in the FA Cup, we could have finished that game. Um, I felt at 2-1, if we went and got another goal, it would have killed the game. We didn't let them back into it. So, yeah, Liverpool just need to finish the games off. They need to take the chances when they come, not be so wasteful. Diaz is finally getting back to form. Nunes was absolute chaos last night. Salah still wasteful, but still might be... He, he, since he's had the injury and he's come back, he ha doesn't seem fully at it. So hopefully, you know, another few minutes under his belt this time, because I do think he'll start. There's no reason why he wouldn't start. You know, it's you, you can't not start him. And another promising thing was Gakpo's performance for the, the 20 or so minutes that he played last night. Really good. I've been getting really frustrated with him. You know, feel a bit sorry for him. He's been looking for the goal, but last night he looked, he looked good. He, you know, he was, he was influential on the game and then he got that third goal as well. And it was very well taken. So happy for him. So I do think Liverpool will go on and win this by how much though. Let's, C, time for my score prediction. That is my score prediction. I'm going with a Liverpool score prediction of 3-1. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that we can get 3-1. My initial prediction, was I, I did want to go like 6-0 to Liverpool. Because I, I, want, I, want I want them to get revenge for the FA Cup. So I want them to, you know, humiliate United. I don't think that'll happen, though, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's Old Trafford as well. It's always difficult to go to Old Trafford. Liverpool always seem to show too much respect when we go to these venues, you know. So it can it can go. It really can go either way. This is what I'm hoping. This is what I want. So that's why I've gone for this score prediction. 3-1 to Liverpool. Now let's get into my lineup prediction. So... It pretty much picks itself here. You have Kelleher in goal, of course. Nobody else there. Adrian, I don't really trust him that much. So, Kelleher. Um, the centre-back pairing, Van Dijk and Canate. That knock that Canate got last night, not so bad. It looked really terrible in the game. It actually looked like he'd, his knee was going to be like snapped in 100 places. But it wasn't. He got up, carried on. It it just looked really, really horrible the way his leg bent over and, and then under him. It was oh, it's horrible. But he's he was up, he was fine, finished the game. And yeah, see no reason why he won't start again against United. He is our second best centre-back, so he does need to be there. Alongside the captain, Van Dijk, of course, who's been absolutely incredible this season. Robertson was left out against um, Sheffield last night, so fully think he'll come back in for this game. I think that's why he was just rested for the United game. And when he came on last night against um, Sheffield, he looked incredible. You know, just having him, he was just marching up and down that left wing, looking like Prime Robertson again. It was great to see. And it just goes to show that we actually, 
when Gomez was there, he's great defensively, but he's just not a left-sided player. When you have a natural left-sided player, it just looks better, him being there. And it just looked more comfortable. And of course, Trent won't be back, I don't think. It's not looking likely. He might be on the bench. I just don't know when he'll be back. Um, they keep sort of delaying the, the return. So Bradley, of course, at right back for a, such a youngster. He's doing so well this season. So let's um, let's hope we can defensively, though, keep it together for the first five, ten minutes because I felt Bradley was put under pressure a lot in the first ten minutes or so against Sheffield yesterday. They were getting at him and specifically down that side, targeting him as the weakness. So hopefully he gets the support in a round. I think with Endo on the pitch, that will happen anyway. And yeah, United don't exploit it too much. And then when he gets into the game, because he does seem to take just a few minutes to get into the game and he just needs a bit of protection for a while. Um, but yeah, then the likes of Robertson coming on yesterday with Gomez then going out to right and him moving up further, it made all the difference. So then in midfield, I've gone with Endo. Of course, the Japanese samurai, he is absolutely incredible. What a sign and for what, 16 million, 18 million, something like that. Incredible. I mean... Everybody's going on McAllister signing the season. But, well, McAllister is really starting to show it now for £35 million. He's been incredible, McAllister, the last... I've read of something, the last 11 games, he's had 10 goal involvements for Liverpool. That's incredible. That's really impressive. But Endo, Endo, he's just the, the quiet little workhorse. He goes about his business, you know. He doesn't get the praise. Well, he does get a bit of the praise, but not as much as the likes of McAllister and Soboslai, but loving, loving the midfield. And, of course, I've gone with Soboslai. I was tempted to put in Elliot in there because Elliot, when he came on yesterday, I really, I, I like watching Elliot play. I really do like watching Elliot play. But I, I don't know why. He's just not starting games. I, the creativity he, bring, he brought to that team last night, anyway, he was very, very influential in the way he, you know, sort of dragged the team by the scruff of the neck. So I was kind of want him to go there, but I think it will be Soboslai. It would be strange if you dropped Soboslai. Um, so that's why I put Soboslai in there. Then up top, Diaz, Nunes, Salah. Of course, they picked themselves. Um, like I said, it's great to have Gakpo back and looking good, looking comfortable on the ball, getting that goal for himself last night. But I just, these three are just ahead of him. Um, he needs to keep up that work, though. He will get a chance tomorrow. Uh, sorry, not tomorrow, the day after. Against United, he will come on as a sub at some stage, I'm sure of it. Um but yeah, he just needs to keep taking his chances as they come and eventually he'll get back in the starting lineup. Um Yeah, so that's my lineup in full. That is Kelleher, Robertson, Van Dyke, Kanate, Bradley, Endo, McAllister, Soboslai, Diaz, Nunes, and Salah. Let me know how I done, guys. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, if you've got any predictions of your own, any score predictions, get them in the comments. And yeah, whatever platform you're on, get them in the comments. Let me know how I done. Um and yeah, if you haven't already, please like the video and also subscribe, share me as well. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll be live for the match, like I said, probably about three o'clock on Sunday. I'll, I'll probably go about 30 minutes before this one, seeing as it's such a big game. And I look forward to seeing you all in there. And until I see you then, up the fucking Reds.